this morning there is a prophetic anointing with God's people and over you and for those watching that we're going to be breaking again a we're going to change the legacy of our families. If you have been fighting for over against generations, some of you don't may not we not realize, but there are generational curses and unseen forces that put people they don't want it, but in a cycle of hurt, pain, poverty, broken relationships, things like that, and. I want to tell you, God's going to give you a change and change your legacy through Jesus Christ, who is raised from the dead. You have a new inheritance. And so, but you have to believe for it. You want to go to step in it, and we're going to help you exercise faith or whatever way we can to break this chain. Poverty line, poverty curses be broken. Depression, chains, family curses of discouragement, oppression of even uh, despondency, depression, suicide, those chains. We want to break those today in the name of Jesus. There is a, prophetically, I saw, there was a daughter-in-law, someone's daughter-in-law that has, she is, comes from these generational things and there is breaking of relationships and heart in that family that God is going to, His resurrection going to power, it's going to change things even this week and today, there are people who need resurrection glory today for you, for your body, for the healing of your body, for refreshment. And uh, there is a scripture in Philippians 4.13 in the Amplified Version. It says, I have strength for all things in Christ to empower me. I'm ready for anything and equal to anything through him who infuses inner strength into me. I am sufficient self-sufficient in Christ's sufficiency say Christ's sufficiency so Matthew 19 26 says the Lord said with men this may not be possible but all things are possible with God all things are possible tell your neighbor all things are possible neighbor with God and we're going to believe for that there is there are people who need to change there is a transition in your location you are changed you're either in the process of buying a house and all that but we, we need a breakthrough you need a breakthrough for your loan whatever to go through we're going to believe that in Christ today there is all sufficiency and there was a last week there was a wonderful miracle for a family that we had been praying for there was no reason why they were being held up, but their immigration papers had been uh, held up for years after year for no reason. And we broke that obstruction and they, the judge, the whole family got everything they needed, the stamp, and he could not understand. And there was a turnaround. And we're going to believe that there is someone else's papers are coming through for that in Jesus' name. You are here this morning. And I, we are believing. So I, I, that is a beautiful realm of glory that the Lord has. Uh, and uh, in that same uh, chapter in Philippians 4, where God said that I have all sufficiency in Jesus, he goes on, My God shall supply all your needs according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. All means all. 